I'm standing up to bullying. I'm standing up to bullying. I'm standing up to bullying. Я против хулиганства. I'm standing up to bullying. We stand up to negativity. We stand up to bullying. Not something that you want to experience or want other people to experience because it can be quite damaging. Felt like I shouldn't have been the way I was. Um, I felt like it was my fault um, and also I felt like I shouldn't be the person I wanted to be. I used to have very long hair, I was picked on it, was occasionally called gay because of it and as a result cut it, but feel it was a really horrible experience and feel as though it's something that should, no one should have to go through. I used to miss school, um, miss lessons, fake illnesses, um, just to get away from the bullies so they couldn't hurt me. And as I said, to, even today, sort of 30, 40 years after leaving school, it still has an impact on my life. I still remember what they did. So that's why I think it's really important, the work that we do, that students know that they, they can be safe. We've really taken it on board. The reason we keep come, going back for more and more training uh, is because it really means something to the young people involved. It gives them a sense of ownership, a sense of leadership, uh, and they bring that back into the college and then they put that into practice in their daily lives. It's not difficult when you say to a student, it's the Princess Diana Awards or the Princess Diana uh, Anti-Bullying Ambassador Training Programme, they, under, they have an immediate understanding of what she stood for and therefore it's something that they want to stand for too. The Diana Award trained it was absolutely incredible. We learned so much and the training gave us so much confidence in what we were doing. So it gave us that knowledge to think, actually, yeah, we now know what we're doing so we can tell everyone that we know about it. We can help people from this. Um, the Friends Club is where students can go on a Friday lunchtime and if you feel you've been bullied then you can just go join in, have some games and have some fun. If you feel that you haven't got very many friends it's where you can make new ones and get to know new people and just listen to music and you can just have fun. If you have someone to talk to I feel like it really helps. They have, if they, it's just someone to listen to you. Some people may think that it's always got to be taught by adults, it's always got to be drilled into them but actually if people do have experiences, it's sometimes best coming from them because they know the pain themselves, they know um, the issues and what it feels like. No offence to older generations, but younger people are more equipped to deal with this generation's bullying because it's evolved so much from older generations. We took on board the idea from service stations uh, for the policies to go on the back of the toilet doors because it was a place where it could be quite easily recognised and people would see it not only on a daily basis, but quite frequently throughout the time they're at college. We don't want people to be scared of technology or like social networking, but we just want to keep people safe. And we think it's important that people understand that if like something bad does happen, it's not the end of the world and that you can just sort it out and it can be some, and it could just be quick and over and done with and then you can go back to using it sensibly. Social media have a report or a block button and at college we have the confide button which works very similarly to report any issues that a student might be having. The confide button, um, every student has access to one so if you're ever feeling down or you've seen someone being bullied or you've been bullied yourself but you're not quite sure what to do or you don't want to go and talk to someone directly. That's completely, completely anonymous. Yeah, you can put your name, you don't have to but it's just a confidential service for you. Tackling LGBT issues is really important. It's the main idea that to create the word gay and turn it into something that's almost negative is something that is completely unacceptable. It doesn't matter whether you are lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender or straight. We are all one. I feel I've gained a great many skills in being an anti-bullying ambassador. I feel as though my confidence has grown greatly and my relationships with people, my ability to work in a team with others has been extremely advanced and just to be able to feel as though I'm making a difference to hopefully someone's lives to 
help spread a message across that's extremely important is very rewarding. I am so proud. Um, I think they have done a terrific job and I think what we have actually accomplished here and are still doing so um, is that they are they want to be part of it they want a part of it and they want to be part of it